EastEnders for god years as you do as you do it raised you and I feel like subconsciously this has affected my uh, mindset in life probably it's yeah. like anything you consume you're going to start believing it mm-hmm. and when I see um our Karen doing all the dishes and stuff or like <laughs> I don't even know who this person <laughs> is you can't even relate who's Karen so it's Sharon who has been um wife oh god Sharon knows, oh I know who knows. Sharon is because I used to watch EastEnders yeah like she's she's now with Keanu she was with Phil god she's had that Phil many. Mitchell mm. yeah god everyone's had a bit of Phil everyone's had a bit of Phil I'd have a bit like, of Phil would you <laughs> yeah it's when he walks around in his sketches and he's like really hard and he's like oi get here and he's got sketches on brilliant love it <laughs> But I feel like this has probably shaped my um, view on women and household roles and stuff because I see this and I think, wow, yeah. God, Cat and Phil are doing it. So that must be how life is. So what is it? Like, explain it to me because I don't really watch East Step. Well, so, I don't watch I can't East believe this, for one. This is absolutely crazy. But basically, it's like uh, East London and it's just... Uh, program about life in east london and like yeah. it's drama and stuff happened well i watched it years ago so the last time i probably watched it was maybe 15 mm. to 20 years ago and to hear that sharon's still in it that's amazing and yeah. phil mitchell so I, I know like like peggy mitchell who's the other one i know i know some of the people dot cotton she was a legend oh amazing mm-hmm. amazing dot. but, but yeah, you- so what what is the roles then what do you well, mean say with- karen she works in a laundrette okay for example yeah. And um, she's sort of, she's a brilliant mother. The, her fella left. So she was like single mum. And she basically raised the kids on her own with little money. Mm-hmm. And she's just a really brilliant woman. And that's sort of, that's one role model. But they're just sort of like copy and paste. So you've got Sonia, she's trying to have kids. She's going through IBF. I remember Sonia. Sonia, yeah. She was young when I watched it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. she, she's grown up a little bit now, she's Yeah. You? But then it's like the struggles with that and how her husband, and this is a brilliant one, her husband's really struggling with the whole... This sounds very stupid. It is IVF, in it? Or is it IVF? IVF. IVF. Is it for fertility? Yeah. Yeah, IVF. Right. Anyway. What do you call it? IBS? Yeah, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully I'll never have to deal with that. Oh, I only see it on EastEnders and I don't really listen to what they're saying. I just look at them. Oh my Gen Z. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. And he's like, can't, typical man sort of vibes, can't get his head around it and is a bit like, she's really struggling with it on her own. Mm. And he's a little bit, oh, he's, if you, if you watched it, you'd understand like any viewers that watch it will just yeah. know what I'm talking about. Is it like but he it, doesn't want to talk about his fertility? Yeah, and he just he just struggles with it a little bit. Like when she's ready yeah. to get the deed going, he's a bit like, oh, oh. like he's just a bit yeah, scared, yeah. nervous. He's not really doing his job properly because it's a lot for him to deal with and he doesn't understand it like our woman understands it. And he's a bit like, Oh god, I don't know what to do with it. So it's it's very like copy and paste roles sort of thing. And yeah. When you see that and you've seen it for so long, it's like anything. You start to implement it into your own life. Not that I'm implementing these tenders <laughs> into my own life because, God, yeah. that would be a nightmare. But do you feel like that media, because you've been watching it so much, that that's how you kind of see relationships to be then? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, you look at pop culture and what you see and it's sort of, it's the same thing. You see, oh, man cheats on women. Woman goes and has breakdown. And that's yeah, literally. and it's okay because he's rich or he's a footballer. Yeah, so sort of thing. like footballers, for example, yeah. footballers all the time. You see them; they they don't even have girlfriends. They have disposable models that they just next one. Yeah, and then people kind of accept it because it is in yeah, like that you, media, and you think, you know what? I'd be a footballer's wife, mm-hmm. or I'd be a footballer's girlfriend. I don't mind if he cheats on me because he's got loads of money. Yeah, and all those things. So definitely, yeah. I guess as young people, you aspire. Not, well, not even young people. Um, everybody in general, I guess, will want to have some aspects of that mm-hmm. where they think you know what i would take it if he was a millionaire yeah you know or if she was a millionaire exactly got the easy ride sort of thing and you also know that if you're getting with a footballer you know that you are probably going to get cheated on and which is bad mm. this ain't gonna last this ain't gonna be the one it's a bit of fun he's fit why not 
see me again i would go in there like this is not happening these are my expectations because again obviously we're talking about you would expectations draw the lines that you know who i am don't 100%. mess 100 yeah. percent. and i think you have to be like that in relationships in business personal professional everything because otherwise people are always going to overstep that line yeah so if you was literally expecting well i'm going with you you're a footballer and i expect you to cheat on me then he does it then it's gonna How happen are you gonna kick off we well, can't because you expected it you've accepted it yeah whereas to me i would not allow that it's the same thing like when it comes to i mean it's not to say that it's never gonna happen because you're saying i'm not allowing it mm -hmm. but i'm not empowering that so when you say you're not allowing it, what are you doing? Baseball bat? No, like... I'm saying it's not happening. Oh, I and see. That, that's it. Do you think know what I mean? That says a lot about me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not even the violence. It's like it's not happening. But you go and do that. Mm. Done. Is. You know, and that's it. Obviously, if you want to have that fun life, as people call it, go and do your thing. But don't get in a relationship and then mm. be now. I'm going like to go off. And Jack Grealish. That. I don't know how his. Who's that? Sarah. Jesus Christ, man. This is ridiculous. Who is it? Right, I'll educate you after, but for the viewers, I'm not talking to you right now. Oh, my God. Who? Jack Grealish. Who is he's he? obviously a well-known footballer. And oh. he is known He's very well-known. Oh, yeah. God, if you know him, you know him. Because yeah. he's, he's supposed to be very attractive. Everyone fancies him or the girls fancy him. Yeah. I don't think he's attractive at all. And his personality definitely isn't attractive if you yeah. um, read about him in the media. But he's always got a new missus. Or mm. I nearly went like that then. <laughs> but he's, he's always got a new missus. And he's got a girlfriend as well. And they're still together. And he's known for cheating. Oh, like he's if you Jack Grealish, he's like first thing that comes to mind is cheater. Yeah, but some women don't mind that, and that might just be for her. She just might like mm. the comfortable life. But she's a very attractive young lady, so I'm thinking you're not going to struggle. It's not what even is... that though. I don't think with with some people, it's mm. just like oh, I don't mind you cheat on me. Yeah, but that's fine. That's it. Like they oh, literally don't could mind. Not be me. I know. Could not be me. It's crazy, isn't it? But. It's off. That's the life that some people want to live. Me, I don't understand it, don't get it. If you, you know, you want to put some input, give us a comment or whatever. But for me, yeah, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't To know. be fair. I think maybe I'm, I'm a bit of a selfish person. I'm like, you're mine. No, that's normal. <laughs> and I'm yours. That's normal. That's, that's like, you know, that's, I'm like, like a kid in a, a kid in a candy shop. Like, well, I'm not sharing my sweeties with no one. God, no, I'm my... not sharing my sweeties. But all that says oh. to me is you've got a heart and you know how to love someone. Yeah. Which actually isn't that common these days mm. but you girls do what you want we'll live our life our way <laughs> living our lives that's it and we're not sharing and that is that 